for tuning in. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable your BitPixel HV or Pixel K DMD on the new Pinball FX. So Pinball FX just added support for real DMDs, which is awesome. Here's how to get it going. So from your arcade PC, just go ahead and launch Pinball FX. All right, so once we're in Pinball FX, we need to, the first thing we need to do is enable this thing called the cabinet mode. So go over here in the upper right hand corner, click on this gear, click on cabinet support, and then I've actually already activated it, so I'm going to deactivate it. So just hit activate, and then go over here to dot matrix window, and then click here to external DMD device. So that is all we need to do for that. So then go ahead and just escape out of this screen. Let's just click there again and just double check that it actually showed up. Yeah, so it's on external DMD device, so we're good to go. So let's go ahead and exit out of pinball effects. Actually, while you're here, if you want, since you're in cabinet mode, you can go ahead and go to video. And then of course you want to rotate your screen. So I'm going to go here and I think it was on actually, yeah, 270. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit confirm. And then I'm going to exit out of pinball effects. Okay, so then the second thing we need to do is we need to install the latest Pixelcade DMD software. So I had to make a small update to this, so be sure and get the latest. The version you have right now won't work. So go over to pixelcade.org, go over to download, click on Pixelcade Pinball DMD, and then go over here and pick the installer, the Pixelcade DMD installer. Just click that link. Okay, and that's going to go ahead and download the installer, and we'll just let that download. All right, so let's go ahead and run this installer. Let's hit next. And now this is important. So in this step, actually, you want to hit yes. And then also important, you want to make sure that you point to your VPIN MAME folder. So the installer is somewhat intelligent. It's actually going to search your hard drive, look for your look for a VPIN MAME folder. So if it finds the right folder, which will typically be under your visual, visual pinball directory, um, but if you're just doing FX, you may not actually have visual pinball. So um, in that case, you just want to create a new folder called VPIN MAME somewhere on your hard drive. So at that point, go ahead and hit next. And so we'll just go ahead and let these files install. Um, while it's installing, if you've if you read the guide, there's actually an environment variable um, called DMD config you have to create to get this to work with Pinball FX. This installer will do that for you automatically, so you don't have to worry about doing that step manually. Um, but I'll show you where that is just just in case you want to see it. Um, this installer also will install the 64-bit of Freezy uh, DMD extensions DLL. Um, since Pinball FX is 64-bit, you need that 64-bit DLL to work, but don't worry about it. This installation takes care of that for you automatically. At this point, we need to tell the installer where your BitPixel or Pixelcade um, hardware is, what COM port. So just go over here, click on ports. You can see I have it on COM5. Now, if you have multiple devices, you may see multiple devices here. Um, in that case, just do process of elimination if you don't happen to know which COM port your BitPixel or your Pixelcade is on. Just unplug one of them until you to see what the right port is based on the process of elimination. So in this case, it's easy. I only have one, so I'm going to pick five. Make sure you type in five. Don't type in COM5. So just simply type in the number of the COM port. So in this case, it's five. And then it's going to tell us, great, we're using COM5 for Pixelcade. Um, now here... If you've got a BitPixel, um, hit yes. If you have a Pixel K DMD, also hit yes. Um, the only correction, the only time you'd wanna hit no is if you've got the smallest version of Pixel K DMD, which we call the P2.5 size. In, in that case, you'd wanna hit no, but for all other cases, just hit yes. Um, we're not using pin and popper. So in this case, we're just doing pinball FX. So I'm gonna hit no. And that's actually it. 
So now that I've done those steps, um, you might actually have to reboot. In fact, I think you do. So go ahead and do a reboot. Um, I just wanted to show you that environment variable real quick. So if you type on the window, click on the windows, type in env, go over to environment variables, you should see something that says this, dmd device underscore config, and that's gonna point to your dmd device ini where we installed Freezy. So again, you don't have to worry about doing that manually. The installer did that for you automatically. So in this case, let's go ahead and do a reboot. All right, we've rebooted. Let's go ahead and start Pinball FX3. All right, so let's go ahead and try out a table. So we'll just go to My Tables, and then let's pick one of the free ones here. All right, so now as I'm playing the table, you can actually see that I've got actually both the on-screen DMD on one of my LCD uh, DMDs, and I've got my physical DMD going on my BitPixel, or in this case, actually, it's a PixelK DMD that happens to be for Nat Games Cap. So you're all set. Um, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just drop a question in the comment. And as always, thanks for tuning in.